you have now survived the 2022 uh, Atlanta hurricane season. It ends today. Uh, thankfully, we, for the most part, were spared with any real impacts. Uh, how did this go as far as what we had forecast? Yeah, so let's compare the, the early season projection to what actually happened. We were looking at an outlook of 14 to 21 name storms. We had 14 name storms, so we were right at that lower threshold. Hurricanes, the outlook was 6 to 8. 6 to 10, we had 8, so right there in the middle. And we were looking at a major hurricane total of 3 to 6. We ended up with 2, so we were just a little bit shy there. So you know, towards the lower side of the outlook range from earlier this year. Here's a breakdown of all the names we had. We had, again, we had 14 name storms this year, from tropical storm up through a Category 4 hurricane. We had two of those, our major hurricanes. So here's a breakdown of the map. And this is kind of interesting to see, because you can see all the different tracks kind of mixed in across the Atlantic Basin. Some nowhere close to land, others very close close as we zoom in closer to home some of the names that you may remember Nicole Ian Alex Fiona those are some of the ones that had bigger impacts closer to home this season so the hurricane season is technically over yeah hurricanes don't know that oh uh, yeah important <laughs> reminder that the weather does not have a calendar yeah. uh, so mama hurricane has not checked the cat calendar on the wall to make sure they're within reason she would have a cat calendar you know right yeah. uh, but we can still have tropical systems outside of the season that's when right. the majority of the tropical activity is. and you're saying that it wasn't that bad but some of us were out there reporting in hurricane uh, ian okay i say it i say it all the time it only takes one right, right. so right. while the numbers are interesting it only takes one to make it a bad season